following is a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network. He buries it. The Cougs have taken the lead. And this place is going to pop off. This is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. We're committed to being great here. Lofts it intercepted, and Washington State, Shaw Smith Wade. Wade. I'm proud to represent Washington State. I know the people that wear their Cougs all across this country, they're proud to be a part of Washington State. Ward has blocking to the right, sprints to the 10, angles all the way, touchdown. Why not be here? Why not cheer on this team? Why not Why not see this environment and make it something special? Spins out of a tackle, has green 20-yard line to the 15, near sideline, Watson, touchdown. What an opportunity to show who we are as Cougs. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank, member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Now, live from Zeppos, alongside Cougar head coach Jake Dickert, here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chazanow. It's great to be here with you at Zeppos. Great to see you, Coach. Great to talk ball here with you. It's one of my favorite times of the week. You guys got me? Yeah, do these weeks keep going by faster and faster? I can't I mean, believe it's there. Honestly, it's already November. I can't believe it. I know. It's, biz- it's crazy. It is crazy. We got, we got uh, hoops tipping off on Monday. We got, it is we already. Got, yeah, Cammie Etheridge is coming yeah, here on the show. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. We got, we got Cammie Etheridge on the show coming up in a little bit. We've got ourselves Stanford week. It is November. And as the saying goes, right, they remember November. Heck, right? yeah. That, you win in November, you will be remembered. That that's, is that's what exactly it, right. So that is what it's about. It, uh, you know, obviously two-thirds way through the season, and we got an opportunity to finish strong. And looking forward to an excited geese of field. We haven't been home in a little while. And, you know, it really starts, to be honest with you, Chaz, last week out in the desert, the Cougs that showed up at that stadium, it was unbelievable. I felt like there was really more crimson in that stadium than there was, you know, yellow or black, if I'm being honest. It was amazing, the turnout. Just so supportive of all the Cougs out there, and uh, we, we felt you. So capacity of that building is like 55,000, yeah. right? Uh, the, the, I counted the sections on the bottom bowl. The, the way they set their stadium up, if you've never been there or if you weren't watching, bot, big bottom bowl, yeah. and then they've got two tiers on each side above, right. the, above the, the sidelines, right? So I counted there were eight sections straight across bottom bowl. This is at Arizona State. Yep. And it was you know, kind of a third peppered full of ASU fans. Agreed. Half at most for some of the sections. And just locked up with Crimson on the left. Like it, jam-packed Crimson Cougs the whole left corner. It of the felt bowl. really like the home sideline. You know, on home, and then you have the student section there in the corner. Like the, all the Cougs in that one corner yeah. was packed. Yeah. And it, just, it was like right off to our right of our normal home sideline. It felt uh, just like Gisa Field. So it was just an amazing turnout. And uh, it was really appreciative of everybody making the effort. It was, it was actually a game in a lot of ways that was tighter than the score. Final score, 38-27 at ASU. You have a 14-point deficit. You get first and goal from the seven. You know, you're, you're in yeah. there twice. You're, you're right there. You're down 14. I know you don't want to be down 14 late, but you were very much in that ball game late on the road. It was one of those things, Chaz, where we knew going in they were a really good red zone defense because yeah. they really wanted to be aggressive down there. And I think they did some things to get us off rhythm, and we just couldn't quite finish some drives. You know, and then on the other side of the ball, we just couldn't consistently stop the run. And I thought they were creative with their approach and how they attacked it. Uh, but we got to, you know, just do a couple better things to get off blocks and run some angles. And obviously tackling you saw in that football game uh, continues to be something that we need to just shore up and, and really attack this week at practice and make sure, you know, we're better this week for Stanford. So I thought Cam played a really another amazing game. Uh, he went out there and made some big boy throws. That that thread the needle that he had to Lincoln Victor in, in the red zone between three defenders. You know, I told him this week that was the best throw that I've ever seen him make. Like, that is NFL high-level ball. Uh, he read it. He saw it. He came back to his second progression off of the corner route. And, you know, Lincoln once again had another tremendous game. So, uh, like I said, Cam has been lights out and just really proud of uh, his performance that he's putting out there. Brink's head almost came off his torso. Uh, like, it, he's like, that's a Sunday throw. That's as good a throw as anybody can make in the sport. And, it, and it's once again, when we protect Cam and he feels comfortable to stand in there and drive it, that was the exact thing that you saw there. So, uh, exactly right. When I saw it on tape, I was just like, that is it. That, that is kind of one of his marquee throws since, since I've been with him uh, to put on tape out there. And, 
you know, his escapability and the way he extended some drives. I mean, you know, the touchdown he had jumping in the end zone, the fourth down late to keep that thing rolling. You know, I just think his playmaking right now is at a really elite level. You know, last year as I'm going through his evolution, you know, he, he kind of struggled at times from the amateur observer with the deep ball. That's yeah. gone. Like yeah. he's fixed whatever he's remedied, whatever that was. Yeah, and I think it was a, a structural, you know, base issue. You know, he was kind of fading off to his left. The ball fades off to your left. So I think when he's staying square and, like I said, he's driving the football in there, his accuracy numbers this season are much improved. And once again, very decisive and controlled with the football. I think he knew what he was seeing. He knew where he wanted to go. And I think he distributed very well uh, last Saturday. I love that he's the first Power 5 QB to, and this is going back, so this is not relevant to this yeah. week or whatever, but we'll look back at Cam Ward and go, it, it's him and Tua Tonga-Vailoa to start 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns, no picks through four games. Like, All time? It, there's yeah. five. He's the fifth okay. ever. The other ones are are pros. Yep. And and I think Kyle Lorton and you know they're all yep. guys who started like the, the list is the premier cream of the crop. Yeah, and I think I said it last week. I mean the, the appreciation that we should have for Cam and what he's doing out there and and by far uh, one of the most competitive players that we have on the team and he just keeps fighting. He took some hits in that football game and he just kept getting up, making big time throws and you know I thought uh, Isaiah Hamilton had one of his best games yep. as a Coug. Uh, you know and we'll just keep kind of fighting through there and just making sure our guys are ready to play and compete. Yeah, Hamilton was really productive. I think he did have his best game, right? No, I think there was no doubt in in his his effort, and I think what he brought to the team as well I thought was really – you know, some high-end things. We got some young guys in there on defense. Obviously, we miss Shaw being out there, uh, one of the best corners in the country. And, you know, that's football. You know, when someone goes down, you got to uh, pick the next man up, and, and that's part of it, and we just got to keep moving. Earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, and luxury hotel rooms than anyone else in the region. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. We'll take a break at Stanford Week. The Cardinal here on the Palouse. Cougs have won six straight over Stanford. Coming into this one, we'll continue to Talk about here with Coach Dickard live here at Zeppos next. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point of sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point of sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys. Pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action. So when he yells, what are you doing? Block him. He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more. So fans can fan. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Washington State Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Cougar football lives here. Got the middle touchdown! One second left! Cougars on top! On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Look, I'm not going to tell you you have to have a Camus Rewards card when you come to Northern Quest. You don't. You don't have to earn points on every dollar you spend here or enjoy prize entries, dining discounts, pre-sale concert tickets, and so on. Heck, you don't even have to receive free cash money for doing what you already do here. After all, free country, right? Camus Rewards for all the ways you play.
Welcome back to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light Opponent Preview. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Back at it live here at Zeppos Talking Ball here with Coach Dickert. Now, another great crowd here, by the way, oh, at always. Zeppos. Always. Zeppos is the place to be. It is the place to be. I, it, I, I totally concur with that. They do such a good job. All right, so it's the, it's the opponent preview segment. Yep. The Stanford Cardinal come in. This is another one of these... This is another one of these, all right, we know what they are, 2-6 and six record, 1-5. and five, da, 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 da. They Always. almost beat the Huskies last week. There was a 42-33 loss. The game was far closer than that, coming down late to the final, final drives of that ball game. And that was, uh, Did you see th- the end of that one? I didn't see it. Oh, Not so, yet, at least. So uh, Stanford had a fourth and two to, right. to, you know, with the ball. They do a trick play. He's wide open, uh, dropped it. Dropped it. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, we could say this up here every week, Chaz. I mean, in the Pac-12, you can throw away the records. There's two zero and zero football teams and there's one team that's going to go away with the win i mean that's the position that i think all these teams are in and everyone continues to show it and what team's going to show up every week it's to determine that outcome so we get another opportunity we get it at home uh there's a lot of fight in our team that want to go out there and and make sure we're doing this thing the right way and keep keep swinging together and keep fighting so i I just think that's what you're going to see on saturday so stanford squad that lost to arizona by one yep that almost beat the Huskies on a dropped trick play on fourth down conversion. That's really what that boiled down to. They had the biggest comeback this year in the history of Stanford football on the road. On the road. In Boulder, they were down 29-0 and beat the Buffs, and then to start the year, they won on the road at Hawaii, and and they have a new head coach, Troy Taylor. And I think that's the biggest kind of pivotal point for their offense, especially was that second half at Colorado. I think they really discovered who they were. Uh, They really found their quarterback in 14 in the the Daniels kid, and he's going to remind everybody of like a young version of Cam Ward. You know, there's times when, you know, he's surrounded by eight defenders and just Houdini's his way out of it, and he's very accurate uh, with the passer. 13, I believe, is one of the best uh, receivers in the conference, and 84, when he plays, is a no-doubt surefire NFL tight end. So they do a really good job. Coach Taylor's playbook is probably this big. I mean that. So he adapts to his personnel really, really well. They max protect the quarterback really on every uh, play and possession. So, you know, the edges can get frustrated. They're always getting double teamed. But they'll also get some one-on-ones with some tailbacks and some tight ends. And we need to disrupt the passer, you know, because when you do that, Chaz, it affects the quarterback, obviously, and allows us to get takeaways. That's the biggest thing defensively really over the last three weeks. We haven't been able to generate any momentum taking the football away. And that creates energy. It creates belief. It just, there's an effort level to it. There's an energy of the football team while also allowing you to just get ahead of the field position game. So they do a good job taking care of the ball. we got to find ways to fit in, but a very sound, very dynamic and multiple offense. The run game, statistically at least, is head scratching. I've really not seen anything like it in yeah. terms of just the, the data. Casey Filkins is their backup running back, kind of, kind of yep. uh, split backfield, 38 carries. E.J. Smith, Emmett's son, yep. 40 carries. Yep. The quarterback, Justin Lampson, 71 yep. attempts. Yep. Ashton Daniels, their quarterback, runs the ball a lot. Cedric Irvin, Ryan Butler, yep. Ben Urosik, and then wide receiver Bryce Farrell, 17. They're running the ball with like 10 guys. Yeah, it's all, it's all different. And they're going to do a lot of quarterback design runs, you know, and they'll use the backup quarterback who you mentioned with 70 carries in a bunch of different ways. But they love the jet fly sweeps, and they'll hand them the receivers, tight ends. That's how good 84 is. Uh, you know, they'll hand them a fly sweep. You don't see that too often no. from anybody else out there. So that's what I mean, that the playbook is huge. And you kind of kind of – Pick that game of like what you're going to get and just kind of focus on some base rules and principles to make sure you can adjust and go out there and still attack it. I think it's so fun. One of the one of the great parts of college football, it's not true in the NFL. It's a little bit true in the NBA, yeah. maybe college basketball more so. The very variability of scheme, oh. like the different ways. You know, Mike Leach's playbook was 15 on a napkin. Yep, that's right. That's it. And yep. Troy Taylor's playbook's like Mike Martz. Yeah, it's a oh, phone no book, and it's different every week. And it's, I it's, think that's what makes our game so special, especially when you get in these conferences and leagues and, you know, Oregon State pounds the ball. I mean, we're the, you know, the modern air raid, and you get all these different versions of, you know, each, each week and each challenge is different. Where the NFL, it's huddle, it's this, you know, it's not as exciting of a game and tempo and, 
you know, obviously weather will play a little bit of an issue this Saturday, and that's always an advantage for the Cougs. So yeah, we're excited the, uh, about that. What is the old forecast? Yeah, just a little, little bit of rain and wind, and it's a oh. nice day in the Palouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a normal November day. Let's be honest with that, each other, Chaz. It's just a normal November day. Uh, what are we talking, 50 and sideways? I would say like a little lower than 40, that. 40, yeah, 40, you know, the perfect 40 and drizzle, just enough to keep that chill in the air. Not cold enough to snow. Correct. As long just as not cold enough around. to be uncomfortable. Yeah, we love it that way. I, like, it, well, you know, it's the last time, and, and uh, I believe the only time since the, uh, I think this is the stat, Frankie Louvu picked off a ball against Stanford to win the game. Okay. One of his, it's one of my favorite stories in, in Coug history. Okay. Frankie Louvu's father had never watched him play in person. Awesome. First time he gets to watch him play, he wins the game in a Giza field with a game-winning pick. In at a, the end of the game? At the end of the game. In a snow game against Stanford, that was Stanford's first snow game since they like played Columbia sure, in like 1902. Sure. And that way, they're they're probably built a little bit differently. Where they're ground and pound back then, you think snow would be they, good for the old they were intellectual sh- brutality they had, right? You know what <laughs> I mean? Was brutal. that Harbaugh? It was Shaw. Shaw, and okay. they were kind of morphing. They weren't. They okay. were in that they're stage. They're a little variable. A little bit because so they, they, you know, when 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 they came here in 2015 and, and Ivan McLennan stripped Christian McCaffrey of a ball that was not ruled a fumble. That was a fumble. Oh. If you go back and, okay. and I just warmed a lot of Cougs fans' right. hearts. That's right. That's uh, right. Th- that was the last loss to Stanford. Cougs totally won that game, but it didn't go their way. Um, that was classic ground and pound. The next year also, Bryce Love, yeah, classic deal. Yeah. Then they started more. Davis Mills had that big game. Well, I know when I first got here, I mean, defending Stanford was, I mean, the, the call sheet, and they had 40 different personnel. I mean, Coach Shaw's call sheet was a, a tray, a cafeteria tray. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things. But, you know, new time, new era for yeah. the Stanford Cardinal, and Coach Taylor's got them on the, the right track. And even defensively, they're going to deploy kind of the, you know, the rush three, drop eight. You know, make us run the ball, be physical. You know, excited about Javinsky Schlenbaker and his week of practice. I just, we're confident in what he can go do out there, and the key is going to give us everything he has. And, and don't uh, forget, you might see a little Leo out there. So we're excited about how we're going to try to attack these guys. I'd be excited to see Leo Pulalas. That's right. Be a lot That's of fun. right. Uh, Troy Taylor, um, and, and this is uh, just the fact of it, not that I, I don't, don't want to whitewash what this, what this was. He was the OC in Cheney. Yeah, and he was. He and Jeff Schmetting know That's each right. other a little bit. Yeah, he was the OC in Cheney in 2016 when the when he started. Yeah, Jeff was telling some old practice stories. I mean, just some things that he liked and how different he is now. And that's what a good coach does. Really adapts to his personnel. At Eastern Washington, it was five wide quads, tempo. You know, now they're doing a variety of different things and just got a real appreciation for how he's how he's attacking different defenses each week. It also was a, a receiver core that like LSU and Bama wish they had. I was just gonna say <laughs> they, they had they had some people that I think were uh, quite difficult to guard. Incredible. Uh, I don't care where you're located. That was a heck of a year in Cheney. Washington State University would like to thank Crimson and Gray for their continued support of Coug Athletics. Head to bookstore.com to get the latest in Coug apparel. That's B-K-S-T-R.com. Live here at Zeppo's Talking Ball. That was the opponent preview segment for the Stanford Cardinal. We'll be back after this live Talking Ball with Goats. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A correct Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Want to earn some extra money this winter? Spokane International Airport is hiring multiple seasonal snow removal equipment operators. These are on-call positions for the upcoming winter season from November 2023 to March 2024. You can earn up to $36 an hour. Some positions require a CDL, and previous experience in operating snow removal equipment is highly preferred. Join our team today. Learn more and apply by visiting SpokaneSnow.com. Do you ever pay attention to overhead power lines? If you're like most people, you don't, but you should, especially when you're working up on a roof or carrying a ladder outdoors. Kids who climb trees and fly kites and adults with drones need to watch out for power lines too. And on the off chance that you find a downed power line, stay at least 10 feet away and quickly call 911 and a Vista. Always pay attention to power lines. It's your best line of defense. A Vista, we just want you to be safe. You're listening to Cougar Football on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. 
whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. As a locally owned family business, tradition is the core of Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. We know that every family has traditions, and when it comes to automotive, we want your traditions to start with us, the family at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet. We are a different type of dealership, and we take pride in continuing what we were taught many years ago to be honest, never pressure, and to treat our customers like our own family. It's just that simple at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. Back at it here live. We are talking ball with Coach Dickert as we get set for the Stanford Cardinal this week. A, a 6 p.m. kick on, on Saturday. So uh, 4 p.m. Uh, airtime. Uh, and it'll actually be... Uh, Derek Dice and Jess McIntyre hosting pregame and postgame here this week okay. for you. So, so Dice Man and Jess pre and post. Uh, we've got ourselves a, a write-in question that I am eager to hear the answer to. And oh, I, am, I, am, I am really glad this was written in. Coach, we just survived, <laughs> Coach, we just survived parent-teacher conference week here in Pullman. Ooh, big one. What did your teachers say about young Jake oh. when you were the age your boys are now? So how old are your boys? Uh, so, so my boys are nine and six. All right. All right. So All right. it's one of these things where <laughs> that's a good question. You haven't experienced parent-teacher conferences yet. No, we're not there yet. My little guy's three. So yeah, you just kind of go into them with an open mind, being <laughs> like, ooh, I, I, you know. But it's amazing, Chaz. You feel like. They're way better behaved away from you than they are with you sometimes. Oh, I ho- sometimes I hope so. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're just like, okay. But back in the day, so I'm very much, my middle one, Jet, is very much like me. It's okay. amazing. Okay. Like when you just see it kind of, yeah. his mannerisms and what, what you do. But very much a rule follower. Okay. Right? Very adamant about that. Hard worker, but has that boy rambunctious. You got to zone back in. All of a sudden, you know, you lost the football game at the playground. Yeah. And you take it back into there. Oh, and he's hot. You're so yeah. distraught. That was passing her first like you know, there's no ref class. oh this yeah. yeah this is a big deal like you know what i mean and you just I can't quite get over it and yeah. you get all huffy and puffy a little bit about it that's but uh, you zone back in when you need to i love it oh that's it's the best but pretty accurate like my it's funny because i i was a trailblazer my brother just he he was the guy that just kind of pushed all the limits and oh, i was really? just like oh don't do that don't do that okay i know uh, he i kind of learned so i was pretty so perceptive smart. from what he was doing that's pretty smart yep. to your gap to your gap to your, yep. yeah that, you, so you're old enough to figure it out but like, also far enough away yeah. yeah let's not do that yeah you're in seventh grade he's a freshman in high school uh, yeah. I, I see what not to that, do. that's yeah. how it goes that's uh, how it goes that's that's super smart uh as an official sponsor wsu becu's proud to rock the crimson and gray and as a not-for-profit credit union we're proud to put people and coo like you first. BECU, power in people. I, I wanted to ask you a, a little bit more about the running game. Nikia Watson, Juvenski Schlenbaker, you mentioned him a little bit. Leo Pulalasi, haven't seen a ton. We, we've seen a little bit of Schlenbaker. Yeah. I haven't seen a ton of Schlenbaker. Saw Pulalasi just against Northern Colorado. Yeah. Don't know how much to extrapolate from that. Loved what I saw. Had a yeah. great spring game also. That's the that's the backfield right now. Nikia, we certainly know. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about Schlenbaker and Pulalasi. Well, I think Javinsky is one of those guys that, yeah, he's been in the background, but he's been working his tail off to get to always just get ready for that opportunity. And I think, you know, there's going to be those opportunities presented, obviously, with DP down. And, uh, you know, you just really appreciate someone like that that just works that hard and, and doesn't complain, keeps going. And uh, he's a big bruising back that I think hits the ball downhill very quickly. And I think his versatility is really – you know, undervalued. You know, I've seen him caught a big-time fade ball this week. I Did mean, you? it's just, yeah. And then Leo.
Leo, I think, is very natural with the ball in his hands. Between the tackles, outside the tackles, you saw that a little bit in our scrimmages and our spring game and all that type of stuff. Or not the spring game, but just through our scrimmages at fall camp. So I think he's going to be a really special one once he really starts to understand, you know, not just running the football, but protections and what it all means. So really confident in what those guys are going to give us this weekend. I feel like Leo is now, we talked about this a little bit when you talked about Jerome Bettis and all that. Leo's on the bigger side of what backs are nowadays. Yeah. Like sometimes you get the little super shifty scat back. Yeah. But Leo's pretty big, about 220. Yeah, and I think, you know, we've kind of learned in this offense, you know, protection is big, running between the, you know, tackles and our counter schemes is where we've kind of been our best this year. And then you have to have the ability to be a threat in the pass game. And I think as we continue to go, the biggest thing you want at the running back position, though, is guys that can do different things. You don't want four Leos and big backs. You do want some scat guys. You do want some guys that you can flex out. You do want a you know, kind of a, a mixed salad of guys that can go out there and do a, a bunch of different things. So we'll continue to do that through recruiting as we, you know, continue to find what's best for our offense and that fit. But we got two guys that can really carry the ball. Yeah, I, I glanced over it. You mentioned the, the full buffet of options. Yeah. Emmett Smith, I mean, Emmett Smith, 18,000 career rush yeah. yards and I'll, Super Bowls. I'm a Barry Sanders guy. <laughs> I, I think that's he been, was pretty good, though. It's been well documented. And <laughs> the Cowboys have really kind of stained my childhood. The Packers could not beat them. No, very That was a rough could, yeah. 90s stretch. I feel like we always played there. Favre always turned the ball over. It was just, there was a conglomerate of things that just like, you we couldn't your, get over the hump. But you got your Super Bowl. We did get the Super Bowl. Yeah, you but, got, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm a very guy that has nothing to do with his son doing well, playing well, playing hard. How about Cedric Irvin is a cousin of Michael? Really? Yeah. And so they're, they've got they're on the, the same team? Yeah, they've got, well, Cedric, they've got the. Oh, in the backfield. They're both in the backfield. Okay. Cedric Irvin, the freshman running back from Miami, yes. is a is a not so distant cousin of Michael Irvin. And then Emmett Smith's son is EJ Smith. It's the 90s Cowboys. <laughs> they, they have, they have Nobody their, wants their relatives. Nobody You're right. Are, You're right. Are in, yeah, my goodness. That's a, that's a heck of a cop. All right, let's do this. We'll take a break. Come back. Pretty soon, we gotta get, we're going to get Cammie Etheridge on here in just a moment. All, All right. right. Head, head coach of the women's squad is coming. Hey, our director of athletics, Pat Chun, is here as well. We've got, we've got all, the no, all the celebrities here at Zeppos. We'll take a break. Come back. We're live here at Zeppos Talking Ball. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. Shush. While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. If Pac-12 football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM Pac-12 radio is what you need to listen to. We're talking conference and team previews, plus hear live games, news, and analysis from experts like Jeff Schwartz, Yogi Roth, and Evan Moore. Go in-depth with your favorite team with coaches' shows, championship specials, and more. Get inside Pac-12 football like nowhere else. Feed your fandom on the Sirius XM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app and start streaming. Whoever said good things come to those who wait, clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Cougars fans, now you can win all season. On game day, get a 20-piece chicken McNuggets and two medium fries for just $10.99 when you order ahead on the app. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. At participating McDonald's, must opt into rewards. This is Drew Bledsoe, and you're listening to Cougar Football. Bledsoe calls his play, has the ball, throws a home run ball from the end zone. The ball, 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 Washington State! On the Washington State Sports Network. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Carbon monoxide detectors save lives because if kerosene, propane, natural gas, or wood isn't burned properly, dangerous carbon monoxide may result, and it can build up indoors without you knowing, as it's invisible and odorless. So protect yourself by installing UHL-approved carbon monoxide detectors. 
If carbon monoxide is present, the detector will alert everyone to get out of the house, where you can safely call 911 for help. Avista, we just want you to be safe. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. The U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanel. Back here live at Zeppos. We are talking ball, and we have ourselves National Coach of the Year, Cami Etheridge here on headset at Zeppos. A standing ovation from folks here at Zeppos nice. for you, for those Thank listening. Thank you, guys. This hey, is awesome. Congratulations on that award. Well-deserved. Congratulations on three straight NCAA attorneys and, and all of the recent success. H- have you are, – are you one and, – and when in the year are you one to celebrate, to look back and go big picture and go macro and go, I've achieved a lot here. This, is, this has been a, a – Part of hopefully what is a long run, but it's been a really, really good run. (laughs) Well, I don't know that coaches ever do that. I mean, I'm just really proud of that team last year. Um, The exciting thing for us, I've been saying it for two or three years, that we made that NCAA run, and it was like we have everybody back. And so we said it again. We made that next NCAA run, and we had everybody but one back. And then this past year, obviously, this is, this is the third year we had everybody back except another one. And so we're now a really seasoned and older team. And uh, this, this is, I think, just building your program little by little and doing things that you haven't done before. It makes you just a little bit hungry for the next year and see if you can do something even more special. Obviously, the Pac-12 championship last year was uh, a dream come true. Um, but now we have bigger, bigger things in our mind. We want to, we want to repeat there, and, and then obviously we want to make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Well, you're also already off to one before you ever tipped off. You're ranked preseason for the first time in That's the right. history of the program, ranked 24th in the country to start right. the year. A round of applause there for you as well. So, folks are now recognizing and uh, giving you the, the preseason love, and that always helps with seeding and all those things that um, really do matter. I mean, there is weight to that, and there is impact through the year. Well, I think if anything, you know, I think, again, I don't think any coach puts much stock into pre-anything. You know, it's so much about what you prove and who you are, and we've been the ones on the other end that we've been picked 10th and finished 5th or finished 4th or finished 2nd. And so um, – there, now we have a little bit of a target on our back, so we, we, have, to, we have to prove ourselves. And, and, but I like the team. I like how we approach practice. I, I think our mindset and our toughness and our competitiveness has grown. Clearly, uh, we have a lot of respect nationally, and I think people know what we do with our players and the, the things that we're doing in our program. Uh, it's pretty easy to coach some of these kids, including uh, with – in particular, Charlize Ledger Walker. I mean, it's it's a great thing to have her in the gym, and I promise you, when she's in the gym, everybody else plays at a higher level. How good can she be this year? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think she's practiced. At, at to, she's you know she's she's trying to get be- a little bit better. I think a year ago she improved her three-point shooting percentage by five or six percent. If she did that, she would be at about 41 or 42. I mean, that's the percentage that Caitlin Clark is shooting it's at really and Paige high. Beckers. And those are the kids that are going to be, you know, one and two in the draft and, some, and things like that. Charlize really has a chance to, um, again, continue to prove some people that they don't realize how good she is. Uh, she's just a beast of a talent and, and has the quickness and has the IQ and obviously has the skill set to not only lead us this year but uh, be, a, be a rock star in the WNBA and, and professional leagues in the future. It's not just her, right? You, 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 there, there is help. You have all pack center, Bella Mercatete. Uh, how has she worked on her Bella? game? Bella? Yeah. Bella yeah. is yeah. Just, just Bella. Anyone that knows <laughs> us, we love her and uh, we hate her sometimes in the same <laughs> breath, but mostly love her. And she's just. <laughs> Sounds a, like it was a heck of a day of practice today. <laughs> she was yeah. really good today at good. practice. Good. So, uh, but just has grown, you know, maturity and consistency and. Always, you know, the last year and a half, she's had a great work ethic. So her physical skill is there. Her fitness is better than ever. Uh, you know, the discipline of not fouling. You know, she's going to be great for us if she can play 25 or 28 minutes a game instead of 18 because she's fouled out or something. So 
some challenges for her, but she looks as good as she's ever looked. And again, feels like she's a senior, has a lot to prove, and has an urgency to be her very best for this team this year. So again, I have great expectations for her to give us, you know, double-double every night. What is the addition of, of the leading scorer from Idaho last year? Beyond Spies here, how, what's her game like? Tell me about her. Edu educate me on her and how she fits in. Well, I mean, she's just a blue-collar, you know, not super sexy, you know, in the sense of her game or her athleticism or, or you know, even her skill set. But she is a fifth-year competitor and hard worker and unassuming, no maintenance kind of kid. You know, as a coach, you, you just she requires nothing of coaches. She's a great teammate, but she's so skilled in IQ. She just fits in perfectly. I mean, I can't imagine picking anyone out of the portal that would fit into our system better and find her way through it. And she's picked it up fast, and she's, I feel like she's getting more confident every single day she walks into the gym. Her, her last game, just uh, in that exhibition, she just looked like she belonged on the court. Every shot she took, I, th I think she was seven for eight or eight for nine. I mean, I think we're going to have those kinds of nights for her just because she's so confident and so, so calm and cool. Uh, again, brings a lot of poise and just brings us offense from that position where Ula gave us, you know, the 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 chemistry and the leadership. This B brings that, but she also really brings some offense to the game, defensive rebounds. She's going to be so consistent. Again, another player that I expect to have a double double every night for us. Can, can we keep you for another segment? Can yeah. We keep, keep well, it? All right, let's Jake, do it. I gotta just. Uh, we'll, do we'll, yeah, do, yeah. we'll do one more. We'll do. We'll do one more. Yeah. We'll keep, absolutely. We'll keep a headset on you. We'll put you to work. One more segment. We'll take a break. We're talking ball here with Cami Etheridge live here at Zeppos. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A Correct Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Book him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Pick off, intercepted, touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. And you're listening to Cougar Football. Go Cougs. Today's Nutrition Report is brought to you by Wilbur Ellis. One of the biggest challenges athletes face is recovering from the intense stress they place on their bodies. Like athletes, crops also struggle with stressors. Wilbur Ellis understands that crops need a remedy for high-stress situations, so they created Folly Grow High Tide, a seaweed extract fertilizer designed to improve plant stress tolerance, drive nutrient uptake, and enhance recovery when it matters. Take charge of your crop's performance. Visit WilburEllisAgribusiness.com and chart your course for success. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Washington State Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. 
Back here live at Zeppos, we're talking ball. We're talking ball of all kinds, of all shapes. We've got the round ball here now. We're talking ball with Coach Cammie Etheridge as uh, the Cougs get set for tip-off. Cal Poly, Monday, 4 p.m. in Beasley Coliseum. That will start the season off. You will raise the Pac-12 title banner, I believe, before the Gonzaga game on yes. Thursday. That will be a lot of rings, fun. Ring ceremony and uh, raising the banner right before Gonzaga. I think that that's appropriate, and uh, then we need to – have a great fan base coming out for that. Hard to have a 4 o'clock game, but, again, with the doubleheader with the men, maybe we can get some people in there later. Yeah, 4 on a Monday, but 7 on the Thursday yeah. against Gonzaga for the uh, for the ring ceremony and the banner raising. I love a banner raising. Be, <laughs> that, that, that's that's what I, I was excited to, to bring that up that's in this great. segment, a, yeah. a banner raising. Uh, yours is up at Texas, by the way. I know that's old news, <laughs> but can't be. Uh, you're the first, I believe, in, in Texas, first female to have the, yeah, the, the jersey to the rafters in, in Austin. Austin, Texas. Uh, that's uh, the number 33 is, that's has right. been retired that's right. in Austin, Texas. R- roll me through this schedule and how it lays out and how you feel like it plays for you guys. I know the pack is loaded. F- for context, you're ranked preseason 24th in the country. You're picked fifth in the pack as high as you've been picked, but the league's always loaded with national title contenders. Um, you play Maryland, right, in Cancun. Maryland's one of the best teams in the country. H- who else? How else does this lay out for you? What pops out to you? Well, I just think there's a lot of games in there. Obviously, Obviously, you know, you just you can't slip up and go into a Montana and and things like that. Uh, back to back to back games in Cancun. You have Maryland first and you finish with Wisconsin Green Bay, who's a hard team to, to play against. Come back home uh, south going to South Dakota State. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but we kind of beat them by 30 or 35 last year here. So uh, Aaron, I think, is going to have something special for us when we go back to South Dakota State. And then you have UW that comes to us in December. Uh, so obviously start the league then and then finish out that, that run at, at, at Auburn and then get to start at Stanford for the league and mm. things like that. I think it's funny you said we were ranked fifth in the preseason poll. The sixth place team is ahead of us in the top 25. Is that right? USC. And uh, so, and who would think that Oregon's below us, you know, Oregon State's below us, Arizona's below us, all those guys that we've been trying to leapfrog for years now all of a sudden we're a little bit ahead of them. And, and so, again, the, the, the league is really strong, better than ever, I think, and, and starting with Utah being great, UCLA, uh, Stanford being really good. It's just going to be a tough, tough uh, league once again. And, but a great competition. And, and, again, the non-conference is all for get you prepared for what you might face during the league. And I feel really good about this um, little bit of – some games at home get our you know mojo there and then obviously got some really stiff competition on the road which again I'm not afraid of let's go take this experienced team on the road and and see how we stand up in in tough environments have you tweaked in season practice and preparation to any degree with maybe I don't say expectation but you danced three straight times now right you're looking to go deep in March not every team's going to do that not every team can say that's an expectation or that they've danced three straight times. How has that affected the way you prepare and the way you go through the year? You know, one thing that doesn't get a lot of attention for us is we have a guy's practice squad. And honestly, this this group of guys that we have is a more physical group that we've ever competed against. They're they're a little bit bigger. They 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 bump us around. They're not very nice, actually. They're not very nice to us. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Is that by request of Coach Edwards? No, I don't know. It's just a better group of basketball players. They're <laughs> okay. really good players, yeah. uh, and they're really committed. And, and, and things like that really go a long way. Interesting. So, so then you can rest your team a little bit more. Two years ago, three years ago, we were running on fumes when we made it to the tournament. Yeah. And I think this year we're going to really be able to play, you know, limit some minutes that, that people are playing. And, and hopefully the idea is, you know, be strategic and make sure we're playing our best basketball when, when uh, February hits and March hits. And, and uh, again, we want to be playing deep into March. Yeah, not a lot of teams are playing mid-March. That's right. It's hard to play mid-March. We want to be there. Coach, thank you. Hey, thank, thank you for doing you. this. Thanks, Coach Jake, for letting me come. National go Coach of the Coons. Year. Let's Coach Let's go get Etheridge. a football win this weekend. We'll take a break. Come back with Coach Dickert next. You know, when you love sports like I do, some people just don't get it. All the yelling, the face paint, the blind allegiance to some fictitious beaver. But you know who does get it? Epic Sports Bar. With their 30-foot HD TV, amazing game day menu, and live sports betting on their Turf Club Sportsbook kiosk. So now, I don't have to worry about scaring the cat every time my team scores. <laughs> Sorry, Muffins. Good kitty. Epic Sports Bar. Only at Northern Quest. 
Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Cougar football. Rolling right for the ball. Going to throw the long ball down the middle. Man, over. Watch the end zone. Leaping grab. Touchdown. And the Palouse is going to pop. Cougar football from Learfield. There is a local ranch just outside of Boise, Idaho, that has masterfully bred Japanese Wagyu cattle with American Angus cattle. Now this American-style Wagyu beef is available to you and your family. Rosars presents Snake River American-style Wagyu beef. Snake River Farms beef is famously found in many exclusive five-star steak restaurants. Snake River Farms, available at your local neighborhood Rosars. This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. For this week's football matchup against Stanford, smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla tasting room or at canoeridgevineyard.com. Go Cougs! This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. The U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanel. Back at it live here. We're talking ball with Coach Dicker. Great to have Coach Etheridge on here at Zeppos. That's awesome. National Coach of the Year. It's unbelievable, and it's it's fun because we, I've had a great partnership with Cammie and, and her program, and she had an opportunity to come speak to our team this spring, and it's just uh, – you know, her messaging and what we try to do in our program and culture is really aligns. And uh, it was quite an honor uh, to have her speak in front of the team. And just you could just see that fire. I got goosebumps of what she was talking about. So uh, it's just one of those things. It was just fun to see their success. You know, I get a chance to see some of her players in the gray dub. And they're fired up. They're ready. They're excited for the season. And, and they're going to go attack it. I know that. Three straight dances. And, and, and Coach Etheridge, one of the great athletes in Texas Longhorn history. I mean, yes. she's really. She downplays great. that a little yeah, I, I know but it. That's I facts. Know it. I that's know facts. It. I know the, you know, I just think the other thing is that it just shows consistency of program. And she's had the ability to be here over a, a long period of time with, you know, very similar coaches and build it up as she's continued to go. And this is the fruit of their labor. And, uh, you know, I just hope, you know, all Cougs out there really enjoy the product that they're going to put on the court this year. And, and uh, I'll be a big supporter. Uh, uh, quick Twitter questions for you. Uh, any future. <laughs> oh, the laugh before the question yeah, is always is, a tough yeah, one. I I don't I always have time to curate these. Uh, you and Coach Etheridge and Coach Smith all have a good relationship. Are there any future footballers from Coach Smith's basketball roster? Is there a Jack Wilson situation? And you should know this. Coach Smith told me, he goes, if they're football and basketball, they're football. He goes, every, he goes they're always football. That's how he feels. We had a debate with uh... – uh, Miles, the, the the point guard, right? Miles Rice, yeah. yeah so oh, yeah. Miles Rice. So yeah. he's, he was talking the yeah. other day. He thought they could put four basketball guys together uh, in a four by one hundred meter race okay. and beat four of the best football guys. No, and it was almost a little comical, respectfully. But I was very Miles. calm, and uh, it was a debate between him and RJ. And uh, you know, I said, "You guys just stay." Well, what did RJ say? Well, he, he knows. <laughs> he knows. The, he knows what's going to happen. So he's not going to be involved in the race. Yeah, but yeah, he, he knows what we're going to be. Uh, uh, listen, but I think like Miles could be a great DB. You know what I mean? He'd be a corner. He could cover some people up. He's quick as a cat no, laterally. That's true. That's 100% true. And yeah. Miles is fat, but yeah. I'm thinking four of them. I mean, Kapana Gushikin can really fly. No, like, I, We've got some serious speed. Trust me, there might be a 20 meter gap. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Like, these guys, that's what they do. Yeah, like, but whatever are... they want to put, you know, in a nice little friendly <laughs> way, it'd be, it'd be fun. I'd like to help facilitate. But that's what's fun. You get to see, like, in the, you know, Great W11's lounge, you get to see all the athletes interact, and it's, and it's fun. I mean, they sit in there, like Miles and RJ, they play cards. 
cards, right? And uh, it's just fun to see all Cougs supporting Cougs, and it just it really shows kind of the camaraderie of our athletic department and programs and how we all support each other. I think that, you know, I haven't been in a ton of them, Chaz, but I think it's pretty unique. The telecast this week will be a Pac-12 Network's situation. Michael Bumpus is, yep. is the analyst. The play-by-play voice is a good buddy of mine and, uh, and a guy who is uh, a noted Cal Bear but probably wishes he was a Coug. Roxy Bernstein yeah. loves the Cougs. Roxy's great. Roxy asks you on uh, on the old Twitter verse okay. here. Uh, do, do you have any restaurant recommendations for Sioux Falls, South Dakota? Uh, <laughs> I'll hang up and listen. Thanks. And he tagged Fran Frischilla. My suspicion is Roxy will be in Sioux Falls for basketball tip off, and he's he probably is okay. actually asking you for Man, food recommendations. I should have. I should be better. I was there for a year. I loved it. You know, it's sad that I'm going to say, like, buffalo chicken pizza from Pizza Ranch was, was phenomenal. Okay. But that's yeah, well, uh, if it's good, it's it's good. a little bit different. Yeah. But uh, you go downtown. Sioux Falls is one of those places that was just bursting at the seams when we were there. Oh, really? It's kind of a unique place in the Midwest. Uh, we never, loved it. Never been to Sioux Falls. I'd, yeah. lo- I'd love to go. Uh, I haven't spent a ton of time in either of the Dakotas. Yeah. Seriously, I'd, I'd love to go. And I just happen to have never. I would say, Roxy, any, any steakhouse down there, that, you know, you go downtown, you're going to find some nice steak places. And, and kind of South Dakota is right up their alley. You're going to get a good prime steak and uh you know just make sure you don't go past medium rare yeah well in what direction in that you you mean you don't like it well done no right? yeah no yeah doubt. okay no all doubt. right just confirm yeah don't cook the flavor out just of it just making sure just yeah, you might as well eat a hamburger yeah. if you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna right, go well right, done right. chop it up that's, that's right. right uh jim Akers wants to know uh coach watching listening to how you are leading in the face of adversity makes me a huge fan who are your go-to mentors who helped raise you up and keep you focused when things get tough That's a good one. I I just think, uh, you know, I've talked about being raised by my dad and and all the hard work and all that stuff we put in there. But I think leadership is a learned skill. We've talked about that a little bit. And I just think you got to find unique qualities to be yourself. And I really want to be a lifelong learner as we go throughout this process. So uh, Jocko Willink, you ever read his books, Discipline Equals Freedom? Jocko is all time. Yeah, Yeah. or if you listen to his podcast, I'm a big podcast guy, Simon Sinek. You know, there's a lot of different viewpoints out there of – uh, how people do it and how they lead. And but I think you got to be authentic to yourself. And that's part challenging. You know, I think you got to challenge the team. Sometimes you got to have a little empathy for situation and how you want to do it. But consistency wins. I think that's the biggest thing. So no matter what happens, you know, you're one and or you're one. And you just keep attacking that process as you continue to go. And what I try to remind everybody is we're 18 months into this, you know, so a little over 18 months now, almost two years, oh. but our second season, and yeah. there's been some amazing highs, and there's been some difficult games, and we're responding, and, and we're, we're learning through all this, and our job is to make our program continue to grow uh, through everything that we, we come across. Coach uh, uh, Jennifer Delzer asks, one of Coach Leach's simple mantras was, do your job. And yeah. he used to say that, do your job. I yeah. hear him saying that in practice okay. over and over again. Can any of that philosophy be helpful as the defense moves forward? Uh, well, I think that's the core of defense. And, Jennifer, I think you hit it the, the nail on the head. You know, it's one of those things that is really, really important. Coach Leach hit it on the head also with be the most excited team to play. I think those things go hand in hand. But what happens, I think, as a competitor sometimes, if things don't go your way, what do you do? You try to make or, uh, you know, more plays. You try to get out of your gap, and you don't do your 111th. You know, then you actually make less plays. So I think that's a key to defense is trust as you keep going through adversities of a game. Hey, we're not fitting this up, or we're not getting this tackled. Don't try to do your own thing. And I think that's the core of defensive play is, uh, you know, along with effort. That must be so tempting as a defender. Like, there must oh, I- be – it must be so – hard to I mean, have there's that tons discipline. of discipline in there yeah. i mean and you just got to know that uh, once you start pressing and try to do too much it always ends up that one time you make a big play because of it you know there's gonna be nine other times that it just it you know the guy behind you is trusting you and the guy behind them is trusting you and you know sometimes when you got to be able to make up for each other uh, but to her point too you just gotta sometimes just make a play you know, and I think that's what we saw last year with Dayon. Dayon didn't do any, you know, all things right. It wasn't perfect, but it was like, hey, he had no fear, and he was going to pull the trigger, and he was going to go in there and just make a play. Sometimes you just need a little bit of that, too. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Pac-12 Radio. Tune in for news talk and analysis from the offseason through regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Final segment coming up next live here at Zeppo's Talking Ball with Coach. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A cracked Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. 
On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Do you ever pay attention to overhead power lines? If you're like most people, you don't, but you should, especially when you're working up on a roof or carrying a ladder outdoors. Kids who climb trees and fly kites and adults with drones need to watch out for power lines too. And on the off chance that you find a downed power line, stay at least 10 feet away and quickly call 911 and Avista. Always pay attention to power lines. It's your best line of defense. Avista, we just want you to be safe. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point of sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point of sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. The passion. He's going to take it to the house. Dinner's cooking. Touchdown. The fury. Getting flat. Down he goes. The speed. By 40. There he goes. Down the sideline. The college football. For the end zone. Got it for six points. You can unhitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the bars. Back in the end zone. 30. 20. This is the College Football Blitz. Listen all season long on College Sports Now on the Varsity Network. Cougar football lives here. Got the middle touchdown. One second left. Cougars on top. On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. Want to earn some extra money this winter? Spokane International Airport is hiring multiple seasonal snow removal equipment operators. These are on-call positions for the upcoming winter season from November 2023 to March 2024. You can earn up to $36 an hour. Some positions require a CDL and previous experience in operating snow removal equipment is highly preferred. Join our team today. Learn more and apply by visiting SpokaneSnow.com. Back here live, we're talking ball with Coach Dickert. We've got ourselves the Stanford Cardinal coming in here to Giza Field, 6 p.m. kick on Saturday. Uh, I want to give a, a shout-out and a tribute to Dean Janikowski. Our kicker is here at Zeppos doing great things, raising money for uh, cancer research and for the Heather Janikowski Fund. And I believe this is over $17,000 he's raised. Over it's amazing. Yeah. I, I, it's just one of these examples of Dean using his platform for good. And, uh, you know, you can go find out about it on, on his foundation, all those things. But he's been lights out. And he's been an even better person off the field and what he's doing and how he's taking a, a tough, adverse situation and, and doing it for good. And that's, that's Dean Janikowski, and that's what he's about. And uh, I know this. Every time he's out there, I know he's making that field goal. Oh, and it's, right. it's been great, and it's been so proud of him and his journey. Uh, it's been amazing what he's doing. I love it. I, lo I love that he's and I love that he's here each week. It's Absolutely, awesome. It's, awesome. it's awesome to see him. Uh, all right, we've got the the Cardinal coming in here, um, and, and it's a Stanford team. We've alluded to it earlier on. It, not a great record, but boy, they've evolved through the year. They they beat up Hawaii and they had a hard, hard time against USC. They lost it's so funny. They lost to a Sacramento State team that was scheduled way before. That's Troy Taylor's own fault because he, yeah, he had them at twelve and one last year. That's one of those things. If you take a new job, you're like, no way yeah, do I'm, I play them. I'm playing them. It kind of happened to me and Coach Eck at Idaho thing that first game. Yeah, or yeah. Two first time as yeah. true head coaches playing against each other. You're just like, how does this even happen right. in the universe? Right. And it was a you know close ball game. Um, yeah. Like I said, they're they're trending in the right direction as a as a football team, and 
you know, defensively, uh, you know, defensive coordinator that came from Wisconsin, so maybe some similar things that we've seen from the 21 game out there. So it'll be a, one of those chess matches, and, you know, who's going to want it more, who's going to fight through some adversities of the football game, and, uh, you know, we need everybody. I mean that. As we go through it, we've got to create a great environment at Giza Field and, and uh, never take one of these home games from granted because I'll tell you what, the season's zapping by fast, Jess. Uh, it's only four games left. You only have two home games left. Yep. Uh, one of them's on a Friday. It's the last Saturday home game of That's the true. year. That's true. That's true. Which is unbelievable. Thank you, Coach. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody here at Zeppos. Yes, thank you, guys. Everybody who contributed. We love the questions. We love the right ins Jared Brent Goober, our man behind the camera. Jerry Kylo is wiring us up, getting us on the air. Luke Hallett back in studio. It's a 4 p.m. airtime and a 6 p.m. kick Saturday. Cougs and Cardinal coming up. Geese Field. listening to the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Tonight's show has been brought to you by U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, the home for the Cougar Coaches Show, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network.